happening today from across the pond. Yes, Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth has passed away. You've probably seen it on social media, you were watching it on TV, um, and we're gonna let news, our news department handle most of this, but we wanted to just catch you up a little bit as we start the three o'clock hour. We'll get into all of our usual uh, normal stuff, but this is a live picture from Buckingham Palace, and you can see all of the people who have already gathered there this evening. What did we say, it's about eight o'clock there? About eight o'clock mm -hmm. in England right now. Uh, yeah, it's a very big deal. Queen Elizabeth II, of course, longest reigning monarch in British history. She served seven decades on the throne and she was a, a real favorite for a whole lot of folks. It's been interesting. I've been watching the coverage this afternoon on all of the different networks and they're talking to the people of the UK and they're saying things like, she was like our Nana, right? Yeah. Like she was our grandmother. She was our, our you know, our person. Yeah. Um, and it's, she was 96, you knew it was going to happen eventually but you just hate to you know when it ha when it does happen it's it's a it's a almost like a gut punch it is it is what a, i mean she leaves an extraordinary legacy i think mm -hmm. uh winston churchill i mean think about the world leaders hmm. she worked with over the course of those 70 plus years yeah unbelievable um we did get relatively recently so maybe you haven't heard this part yet and we wanted to bring it to you a statement from now king charles the mm third -hmm. uh formerly prince charles right but now he's king charles the third yep um he says the death of my beloved mother her majesty the queen is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family we mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much loved mother I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. During this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained mm. by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held. Mm, powerful words. Charles Philip Arthur George, right, mm. the son of the Queen and Prince Philip. And we don't yet know what his regal name will be. We know he's King Charles, yes. but... I, the, they have referred to him as King Charles the mm Third -hmm. now in informal. Sure. So I believe, and I'm from what I'm hearing. I mean, it's never for sure, but mm -hmm. from what I'm hearing, that that is what his name will be, King Charles the Third. Mm -hmm. um, so the president uh, of the U.S., President Biden, and uh, the First Lady Jill Biden, Dr. Jill Biden, also released a statement today, very very long, but talked about um, her legacy and all of that kind of stuff yeah. as well. So it's a really big deal. One thing you mentioned is that everything has to change now, mm. right? From the currency, the picture of Queen Elizabeth on the on the money. Yeah. Oh, the currency. The um, they said the passports have to change. Mm. Like everything that has her face on it now has to change to King Charles. So um, it's a it's a big undertaking when something like this happens. Absolutely. So um, so anyway, um, the Prime Minister of England also spoke. You know, she's only been on the job for two days. She just met the Queen on Tuesday. Right. Um, all of the family, the Queen's children and grandchildren, most of them are there um, with her in Scotland. And, um, you know, we the, the statement from the King now is the only thing we've heard. But um, we'll keep you posted. We're going to continue to show you live pictures like this one right here uh, from Buckingham Palace throughout the hour. Uh, CBS has told us that if something significant happens, if someone si of significant speaks or there is some sort of information that they will pop on and let us know. And then, of course, starting on WBTV News first mm -hmm. of four, we'll have more as well. So but Queen since the age of 25. Isn't that wild? Her, basically her entire adult life. I know. It's incredible.